Hello magical butterflies, this is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This can apply to all types of love connections. This will be an overall energy check-in to see what is coming, what is shifting, what is being released in your love connection for the months of October through December 2020. This will be a general collective reading. Please use your own discernment when listening and watching this video. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. The way you will know if something resonates with you, you will feel like I'm speaking directly to you. If you are trying to make it fit, then the message is simply not for you, so please do not take it. If you are interested in booking a personal guidance reading or guidance video session, you can book one by purchasing it in my Etsy shop. The information to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. If you are interested in purchasing any of the decks I created and the one I co-created, if you are in the United States, you can purchase one in my Etsy shop. If you are international, please message me and I will send you a special ordering link. If you hear a little background noise, I do have a fan blowing because we are experiencing a heat wave right now here in Southern California. And if I'm talking a little low, I do have a microphone on, but it is at night and I'm trying not to be too loud to wake other people in the house. So let's get into the theme for the reading. This is going to be the theme for love for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The deck I'm going to be using is the Romance Angels. If for any reason I forget to mention a deck that I'm using, they will be listed in the description box below. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And children. Your love life is being affected by children. What I'm getting overall is that this is a connection that is on a pause. You are in separation. One of you has retreated because they need to go through something. The other person is having a hard time with this separation. And it, you just need to allow the situation to unfold naturally. You can't try to force it and you can't, kind of, you can't control the other person. You can't control them wanting to come forward. You can't control them wanting to reach out. They have to do that at their own free will. So letting go of control issues is something that is being shown to you. It's a codependency. And with the children card, I feel that you both, either one of you has children, both of you have children, or there is a spirit baby who is trying to guide both of you to do your healing work. Let's get a little bit more into the theme. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. So what I'm getting that even though the two of you are not together, the other person may not be speaking to you or vice versa, this is a new love where the two of you have never felt this way about anyone else before. You have a deep passion that stems from lifetimes of love. So this is a past life connection. And in some capacity, this is a divine love connection. This could be a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection, or a soul flame connection. You two have a very deep spiritual bond. So you can really help bring everything around by tapping into the 5D, meditating, speaking to your person telepathically, and really just working on yourself. And Spirit wants me to pull two more cards from this deck. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there is a codependency that came out in the first batch of cards for this section. So there is codependency that needs to be released. And family issues need to be healed. So if you have any resentment or something lingering from your childhood when it comes to your parents, 
both of them are just your mother or your father, or perhaps one or both of you is dealing with an ex that is causing an issue with the children, whatever it is, this connection is being affected by your view, your views on love, what is going on around you in the family dynamic, if, ch if inner child wounds or any family things are not being healed. So you two have a very beautiful connection, but it's just not time right now. So it's time to really look at what needs to be healed. Let's get more into your connection. The next section of this reading is going to be the overall energy of your connection. Now this is gonna be the overall energy collectively for the both of you. This is just gonna be what you're both feeling and just what's going on energetically in your connection. The deck I'll be using for this is Twin Flame Journey Oracles by Mystic Moon Oracles. You have Summer, Karmic Partner, and Reinvention. What I'm getting from these three cards is that the summer season, now where I'm at in the United States, we just concluded summer and we just entered the fall season. So the summer illuminated something. If one or both of you was in another relationship, this relationship has ended or it's soon going to be because there's going to be a reinvention happening because the person who was involved in a karmic relationship understands now that this relationship no longer serves them. Destruction. The answer is no. And regret. So the person who retreated and walked away and possibly went in another connection has deep regret for destroying the connection by saying no. Your person regrets how they handled it. They realize now that they really hurt you and that they were in ego and really didn't look at how this would affect you, their actions, their words, and just going in another direction in another connection. There's a deep understanding now between the two of you regarding your connection. You both are being guided and shown what needs to be worked on. The divine feminine in this connection is really working on herself, or she should be. The divine masculine is wearing a mask because he is afraid to face his fears, but both of you overall have action that needs to be taken in your lives in order to get the two of you towards union, there's action that needs to be taken. There is work that needs to be done. You two are being shown what doesn't resonate in your lives as far as people, situations, thoughts, beliefs, patterns, and it's time to take action. It's time to take the mask off. It's time to be your authentic selves, and it's time to just trust that this connection was brought into your lives at the perfect time to awaken both of you. So there is potential for this connection to go into union eventually, but you both have to make the free will decision to do the work. And I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck and the card is mirroring. So you both are mirroring each other. This could be a twin flame connection that I'm picking up on, but in order to get into this union, you two are mirroring each other. You're feeling each other's energy and action needs to be taken to remove the mask, to be your authentic selves. The next section of the reading is going to be the head and heart space of the person you're thinking about. Now this is going to be what they're overly thinking, feeling, when it comes to you and the connection. The deck I'm going to be using is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. We have Surrender, number 26, which equals an 8. Gratitude, number 23, which equals a 5. And the number 4 card, oops, let's try this again. And the number 4 card, Acceptance. So number 8, I always see as the forever number, the infinity symbol. 5s are about change. And 4, I'm just hearing the word transformation. So your person is surrendering this connection. They have gratitude for the lessons that they have learned, for what you have shown them, and they are accepting that you two have a divine connection. The two of you 
have this beautiful divine connection and they can't deny it anymore. Hunger, number 29, which equals an 11. 11 is the twin flame number, is also the number of new beginnings. And it also equals a two, and twos are about partnerships and balance. 27, which equals a nine. Nines are about closing a cycle, so this card is release and power. Number 16, which equals a seven. Your person hungers for a new beginning with you. They are releasing what doesn't resonate with them anymore, and they are taking their power back. The full moon that is happening right now as I am recording this on October 1st, which is the full moon in Aries. So this could be a special message if your person is an Aries or a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. They are releasing what doesn't work in their lives anymore. And they have been shown and illuminated and the full moon energy is showing them what needs to change in their life. In their heart, they have faith. Number 31, which equals a four. They have faith that they could birth something new in this connection because they see you as the person they want to be with. They are willing to go to extremes to change what needs to go to face their shadow side and do their dark night of the soul. Your person does need patience because they are in the, po the process of closing a cycle. So even though you may to intuitively feel that something is shifting in your connection, something is being removed like an obstacle, your person still has to find the courage to walk through here. And they're getting there, but it's going very slow. I'm hearing fast, uh, slow and steady wins the race. And I'm drawn to pull the bottom of the deck. The unexpected, number 43, which equals a seven. So there's a lot of sevens that are coming out. So... I'm feeling like a birthday, like November 7th. Um, if you were born on November 7th or the 7th of the month or just 7 is a number you see all the time, that is spirit showing you that this connection is shifting. Unexpected. Expect the unexpected. When you stay detached and you don't have any ex um, expectations, if you don't have any attachment to outcomes, um, timelines, and you just allow things to unfold naturally and just trust and have faith that this rebirth can happen. And he'll have the patience that he needs to find the courage to walk through the new door to close out the cycle because the 36 equals a nine and nines are about closing a cycle. So ex uh, expect the unexpected when it comes to your person. You're never going to guess when and where they're gonna come around because spirit is not gonna show you. Let's get into what is releasing in your connection now this is what is releasing what needs to be released in the connection the deck i'll be using is the spell casting oracle truth compassion justice something has been hidden in this connection the truth um, a declaration and expression of feelings, having compassion and being truthful. Justice is showing me that karmic justice is, is happening or will soon happen. The throat chakra is going to be open for the person who can't speak the truth and they will be shown that they can have compassion and they will want to bring justice to you and your connection as well as bring clarity bring an apology and bring flowers i'm seeing roses and just bring something for a new beginning grieving answers and lighten your load if you have been stuck in the past and really upset over what has happened and when you reach out to this person, even now, you get very frustrated because you're still not getting answers from them. It is time to lighten your load. It is time to transform out of that grieving energy by releasing the past. Let go of the past. You can't change what happened. They can't change what happened. But what you can change is your outlook on this connection. Because if you truly want to come back together with this person, the answers you need will come. 
The answers you seek are within. If you start a steady meditation practice, asking questions, listening to your intuition, letting your angels and guides show you through signs and synchronicities, through your dreams, through your thoughts, through visions, however they need to show them to you, you'll lighten your load because you won't be listening to the ego and you will be listening to your intuition and you will transform out of the grieving. Reconciliation, happiness, inspiration. So what has been keeping the two of you from reconciling and being happy and being inspired to speak to each other and have a new beginning is being released. You see the butterfly on the happiness card that shows me transformation, the full moon that is on the reconciliation card. It's being illuminated to both of you right now as I record this. You two are being shown all the time the signs and synchronicities that need to happen in order for this connection to come back around. It is up to the two of you to listen, to see, to do the work, to follow the guidance, and make the free will decision to come together. But there is potential for all these things to release so the two of you can be happy and come back together in a reconciliation. The next section is going to be what is shifting in your connection or what needs to shift in order to bring about a change. The deck I'll be using is the Spirits of Darkness and Light Divination Deck by Mystic Moon Oracles. Spirit of the Angel, Guidance, Blessings, Answered Prayers. Spirit of the Cross, Burden, Hardship, Lengthen. And Spirit of the Giraffe, Perception, Foresight, Advantage. What I'm getting is that the burden, the hardship, and the lessons, the dark night of the soul, the shadow work, can be removed by listening to your angels, following the guidance, allowing blessings to come in, having your prayers be answered, and you may connect with a giraffe if that's your spirit animal. It will help bring you a new sense of perception, foresight, and you will be able to take advantage because you will be tapped into your intuition. Spirit of Masquerade, False, Hidden, Deceptive. Spirit of the Wind, Activity, Movement, Disruption. Spirit of the Light, Awakening, New Dawn, Beginnings. The mask is going to be removed. Whoever has been false, hiding their feelings, being deceptive, is going to show the disruption that they caused in this connection, and they will be guided to take some movement forward, to go through an awakening, to have a new dawn, a new beginning, and a new sense of what this connection really means. Spirit of the Fae, Mischief, play, fantasy, spirit of the Pegasus, unrealistic delusions, not as it seems, and spirit of the scales, karma, justice, balance. So we saw the justice card come out in what is being released. So what is being released is karma, learning the lessons, and overall just bringing balance to this connection. Everything is not as it seems. So if you're feeling intuitively that there is something brewing in your connection, that it's not over, trust that. Because what you're seeing in the 3D is not matching what's happening in the 5D, but energetically you feel it and your intuition is showing you, is telling you. But because you're not seeing it physical, that's when your ego is gonna come in and say, well, where is he? Where is she? Why aren't they here? But it's because you need to get into the spirit of the Fae. Have that little mischief. Be playful. Have that fantasy. And just trust what you're being shown and trust what you know. Because when you fully believe that you and this person can come back together, you will see how everything shifts. And how everything aligns and everything just starts working in your favor. And you're able to manifest things very quickly. The next section is going to be guidance advice what you need to know 
and any action you might be guided to take either in your love connection as well as on your own personal journey of self. The deck I'm going to be using for this is the Moonology deck. Don't let your past hold you back and a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. So the full moon is illuminating that this situation can be resolved when you focus on the solution and not the problem you resolve it and not letting your past hold you back releasing the past letting it go accepting the situation for what it is and just working on resolving and moving forward you then go into a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries I'm recording this on October 1st, which is the full moon in Aries. So this is a big sign with this card coming out on this day in this reading. A fiery climax approaches because a personal issue will reach resolution. See, conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Nothing is yet set in stone, so that shows me that it's not set in stone how this is going to resolve itself. So it's important to stay open to how and when. And new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. Spirit is saying it's time to take action. It's time to start living your life. It's time to stay focused on the present moment. And it's time to have confidence. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. If you stay confident and you be in that Leo energy of being a leader, being passionate, and being open to how everything is going to happen, everything will start to happen and you'll get your ducks in a row. Because remember, everything happens to you, not for you. So trust the process and trust in divine timing. I'm going to close out this reading with possible future energy on what the future may hold during the months of October through December 2020 in this love connection. Now this is possible future energy. It is not carved in stone. It is not set in stone. It's what can happen, what may happen if the two of you make the free will decision to do the work and come together by making a free will decision. The deck I'll be using is Angel Answers. I'm going to do two cards at a time, so not the right time, and unlikely. So, these two cards show me that it's not going to happen the way you envision it. So, it's important to really work on staying detached. Don't be attached to an outcome, a timeline, and don't have expectations. A, um, I don't know if it was a motorcycle or just a car with a loud exhaust just went down my street. I don't know if you could hear that. But that shows me it's time to move forward. It's time to get going. It's time to just allow things to happen and to just enjoy the ride within the next few weeks yes something will shift in this connection within the next few weeks ask for help from others whenever you get stuck whenever you get frustrated ask your angels for help if you believe shows me if you truly believe in love and you truly believe that this connection will come back around you will have success but the key is you have to remain positive. If you doubt, you stall what happens because you self-sabotage. And they wanted me to look at the bottom of the deck. And the bottom of the deck is trust. So if you trust in your love for each other, trust that if the two of you are meant to come together in this lifetime, you will. Nothing can stand in the way of something that is fated and destined. It can be delayed, but overall it will happen so remain positive trust in divine timing and just know that you will have success in love and that you will have everything you deserve i hope that this reading brought you clarity and guidance on what october through december is going to bring in love for scorpio sun moon rising and venus if it resonated let me know in the comment section below if it didn't no worries, you can check out the other zodiac signs I have on my channel. I am recording them one at a time, so I will get the rest of the signs up as soon as I can. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and have the bell notification set so you can be notified when I post a new video. 
wishing you a beautiful and magical day, night, or afternoon, wherever you may be. Love and light.